In this video, I'm going to share with you how to use Canva mockups. I'm going to show you three different ways as to how you can create your mockups. And specifically, if you're a real estate agent, I'm going to show you how you can create a digital mockup of your real estate guide to help you attract leads. So if you're ready, keep on watching. To begin this tutorial, we are going to be starting with the homepage of Canva. Now from here, you want to locate the apps button here. Go ahead and click on that. And if you scroll down on the left hand panel, you'll find the mockups application. Now from here, you can basically search the 8,000 plus mockups you need in order to create your specific kind of mock-up now you can see here the different kind of categories what's trending but for me i typically use the tablet mock-ups and from here you can simply choose whichever mock-up that you so desire and all you have to do is let's say click on this one here click on that and then select it and from here, we are going to be uploading an image of our real estate guide. So I have mine already uploaded into Canva here, but if not, you can just upload by clicking here and then pulling that file from your desktop. In this case, let's go ahead and make a seller's mockup. So I'm going to click this and then down here, let's hit select. Immediately, it's going to populate over. Now you can see here, it's not exactly perfect. So I'm going to adjust the image by clicking this button here. And I am going to pull this like that. Now it may not be totally perfect, but again, it's a digital mockup. So we're gonna do the best that we can with this. I'm gonna go ahead and simply hit save. And once you are happy with how that looks, you can simply save this mockup and I'll give you two options to either download this image or use it in a design. In this case, I'm simply going to just hit download image. And then from here, I have that as a PNG in my desktop, which I will show you right now. I will be right back. And this is what the mockup looks like. It looks pretty snazzy in my opinion. And I would simply just take this image and use it on whatever landing page that you have. In this case, I use Flores and I would use this as the primary image for that landing page to capture the lead information. If you want to learn how to specifically do that, I do have a video on that, which I will link in the cards above and in the description box down below. So do check it out. Now, the second method for the mockups here, I'm just going to, you know what, let's go ahead and just use this in a design so I can show you what it will look like in the Canva design window. I'm going to go and look for letterhead and just go ahead or just a blank pdf document like that and it's going to immediately populate your image into your canva design and you will also notice that it is downloading the image here on the left hand panel so that you have this in your uploads section once again you can just use the image as is you can right click on it and I guess not set it as a background or now set it as a background once the image has completely loaded up now, next to this, you can also access mockups again within the Canva design window. If you go over to the app section here, you can simply search here for mockups. Go ahead and click on that. And it's going to be this image here, this first tile. Go ahead and click on that. Now, here are some other mockups that you can use. Now, the nice thing about this area is that you can actually use these kind of video mockups, which are quite interesting. And the beauty of these kind of mockups is you simply just drag and drop your photo image onto the mockup itself. So let's go ahead and use this iPad one. And now all you wanna do is just go ahead and insert the image over top the mockup image. I'm gonna go to uploads and then, then I'm just going to simply just drag the photo right on top of the mock-up, give it a second to load. Now, one thing to note that even though this is a video mock-up, you can only put a photo into here and same with the smart mock-ups on the Canva dashboard within the Canva homepage, only images. So let's go ahead and enlarge this or give this a play. And this is what that mock-up 
looks like. It's kind of a mock-up inception, if you will. That might not be the best <laughs> image to use. Um, let me go ahead and just drag and drop this image over top of it. So I took this image and just dragged it onto here. Let's see if it will actually replace that. It might give it a second. You can see here that it is loading. So let's just see. We'll give Canva a moment. Sorry for the interruption. Let me drop this introduction. I sell Canva templates on Etsy for my real estate agent besties. I don't have a beat on this track because I am not a rapper, a singer. All I do is help agents prosper, scan this code right here and you'll be a winner. Or find the link to my Etsy shop in the description box down below. Subscribe for the good, good vibes and let's get back to the video. All right, I am too impatient for that. So you know what? I'm going to undo. <laughs> I'm going to undo and I'm going to just click and drag in here and let's see if it will properly um, upload the image into this mock-up. It might be a little bit slow because we are using a video mock-up or it might be my internet. I do not know, but let's give it uh, another second. Okay, it worked. So I'm just going to enlarge this and if we give this a play, that's what it looks like. So basically the things in the background is moving and the camera looks like it's coming closer into the guide just like that. This might be a cool social media uh, piece to share on Instagram or Facebook or wherever you have you, whatever supports that video format. So the nice thing about the smart mockups within the app section is that you get cooler ones like the video ones but the only thing or the, the downside of this is you can't search for what you want so if you want a specific tablet you may not be able to find it you'll have to see if there is something available like you know down here graphics and tv there may not be a, a bunch of them just a few I, I find that if you use smart mockups on the homepage of Canva, you get a lot more options in my opinion. Now, finally, the third kind of mockup you can use in this case is going to be simply in the elements library. So if you go to elements and you scroll down to frames here and hit see all, you can see here that depending on the uh, mockup you are doing, let's say in this case for devices, I would go to see all, and you can see here that we have this iPad one, which is ideal for the mock-up that we want to create for our guide. So simply, I would just have this uh, mock-up here and you very simply just drag and drop your photo into here. Now I'm gonna delete, sorry, to duplicate this page. And the nice thing about using the image frames within the element library is the fact that you can also import a video into the frame. So I'm gonna go over to videos. I'm just gonna grab this random video of this uh, seller's guide. Uh, shameless plug, I do sell this template on my Etsy shop show. Check out the link in the description box down below or scan the code on screen to peep my Etsy shop. So this is basically what the template looks like. But again, point is you can either drag and drop a photo or a video into the element frames, which is a very nice touch. And that is it for today's quick and easy tutorial on how to use Canva mockups. If you made it to the end of this video and then you know what it is, you know what to do. Yeah, comment down below, hashtag and crew. So I know you are a real one. And as mentioned, if you would like to learn how to create a proper lead magnet, then I highly recommend you check out this video here on how to use Flowdesk. So we will take the images we've generated with Canva and use them on Flowdesk for our landing pages. So I highly recommend you check out this video and if you're ready, get ready to click in three, two, one.